many classroom teachers are using Daily Five in their classroom. I take many cues from the sisters and I take many cues from my, my family of friends that I work with as well as outside. I check out YouTube videos, I find different resources online, of course Teachers Pay Teachers is wonderful and Pinterest, but I've come up with a system that really works for me and I usually do this the second part of the classroom year. So what I've done is I've created these boards and I know this takes the choice element out of it, but I have found in my classroom a lot more learning happens and a lot more productivity. My productivity goes way up when um, we're using these boards and the choice is taken out of it. So you can take it or leave it. This is how I run my classroom. So what I do is we use initials a lot of the time in, in my grade level. And so I put initials up here. So all they have to do is find their initials and they look at the board right above it. So for example, these two people, I have a box around or a rectangle around their names their initials because these two people are read to someone partners and they know this I have pre-taught all of this how this whole system works and so what these two girls have to do is they just say okay number one read to someone and then what they do is they and I've gone over this all before daily five so they know what they're doing and I will say go and all they have to do is look up here and see where we're going I have a bell that rings in between each one of these and so that um, they know that that's the transition time and then they know that we count down from five and we begin so that there is literally five seconds of check-in time rather than the entire class checking in I at this point do not do many lessons in between I do many lessons ahead of time before daily five and I do many lessons um, at the back end of daily five but I do not interrupt this full daily five with many lessons in the middle I just find that this works really well with my grade level and with the students that I have so I'd like to also show you where the directions are because I find that students really need a reminder of what to do during daily five if you tell them all those directions at the very beginning that's a lot for them to hold on to and for those kids that um, I can't hold on to all that information sometimes they're a one direction kid then this is a lot of information to give them ahead of time so this is why I write it they can always refer to the board so this is just you know I've just made this just daily five full, uh, posters and so read to self usually is a reading time word work I, I tell them what on the board they want, should be doing for that day um, or if I have a sheet of paper that they need to fill out, I will actually um, put the sheet of paper here so that when they look up here, word work, oh, there's that piece of paper I always have in the exact same spot. The procedures um, are ingrained in their head at this point in the classroom year. So, um, and then of course I would write as I'm telling them, so boys and girls, today for Read to Someone, you're gonna be working with your groups. So this is how I run Daily Five, and I know that it may not be uh, a perfect system, but in my classroom, this tends to up the productivity and students get a lot of reading in, independent reading in, as well as read to someone. And um, the read to someone books I have for them are basically on level books for these two. So these, these groups I have leveled according to their reading level. And so those are the read to someone groups. I have books picked for them. They are not actually choosing books out of their book boxes, as the sisters would tell you. I find that um, I have less management to deal with and I find that I have um, more reading happening. So you might wanna try this system in your classroom. I hope it works for you.